Google has just enabled lots of new features related to the G Suite set of productivity apps. One of them is Google Meet, which allows you to create live events for you and your students. Now there may be some occasions where you'd like to use this, but you don't necessarily want your students to be able to be speaking during the presentation or to be seen during the presentation. If that's the case for you, live streaming is the key. To set up a live streamed event, go to Google Calendar. Choose the date and time when your stream will occur. We'll pick April 1st. Give your event a name and a time. We'll say 1 p.m. Click More Options. At this point, on the left-hand side, click Add Conferencing and select Hangouts Meet. You'll see another drop-down option right here, which will reveal conference details. Click there, and then choose Add Live Stream. To invite people to watch this live stream, all you need to do is provide this URL right here. We'll go ahead and copy this to the clipboard and we'll come over to our Google Classroom. In the Google Classroom stream, we'll type in link to live stream. Click add and then link. Paste in the live stream link and then click Add Link once more. If everything is correct, click Post. On the day of the event, come back to your Google Calendar and click the event as shown here. Click Join Hangouts Meet. Once again, click Join Now, and you are inside the Google Meet. At this point, since you are the organizer, you have the option to start streaming. Click Start Streaming. And one more time. We'll switch over to the student view, and they will see the link you provided earlier. The only options the viewer of this live stream has is to increase the volume and the video quality settings. They can also go full screen. They cannot interact with you in any way. All of the tools that you normally have in Google Meet are still there and you can take advantage of these during a live stream, including turning on captions and presenting your computer screen. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email.